Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will show you an easy way to make these wonderful dolls from regular socks. So, we're going to need two socks, one white and one colored. First, let's work with the white sock. First thing, I cut off the heel part. Now, turn the sock inside out and straighten it. I need to make my edge a little more even. In my case, the center line is clearly visible. But if you can't see it, just fold the sock in half and mark it. Now, with this line in mind, let's draw the legs. One on the right and one on the left. Try to make them symmetrical. Now, grab a needle and a thread and stitch the first leg. Here, leave a hole to turn the body inside out later. And stitch the other leg using the back stitch technique. I have a separate video about this technique and I've left the link to it for you in the description. So I've come close to the hole. Last stitch and I can tie a knot. Skip the hole and do the other leg. Tie the knot and we are done with this. That's what it looks like at this stage. I hope you can see it well. I cut off the excessive fabric, stepping away about 4 mm from the stitch. Step about half a centimeter away from the hole and make a triangle like this. Now carefully turn our piece inside out through the hole. So, this is going to be the body. Now it's time to stuff the toy. Take some hollow fiber or padding polyester and fill in the piece. First I stuff the head and the body and now we separately fill in the legs. Squeeze the toy a bit to make sure that the stuffing spreads evenly. Now let's close the hole. I'm going to do it with the help of the invisible or secret stitch on which I also have a video and the link to it is in the description below. At the end of the stitch, I tie a knot and hide it inside the toy. So, this is our workpiece for now. Now take a thicker thread, divide the piece into three equal parts, and now we're going to mark off the top part, the head from the body. Tie the knot on the reverse side, where the stitch is. There are going to be more wrinkles on that side. Look, there are almost no wrinkles on the face side. I don't know why, but it's kind of nice. 
Now tie a strong knot, better triple. The body is ready, and now let's make the clothes. I take my second short sock. Had it been longer, it would have been easier. I would have made the hat from the top part and the dress from the bottom, or vice versa. But since my sock is short, I'll have to use it more sparingly. From this part, I'll make the hat. This looks just about enough for the dress. This little piece will be the collar. Now I put the dress in my doll. You can mask the top cut with the collar like that. Join the pieces together with a couple of stitches if you like. And let's try the hat on. Now let's make some hair. For this doll I'll be using these blue threads. They're regular threads for knitting. Now find something you can wind them around about 17 cm long. Like a book for example. Wind the threads around the book as many times as you want. Now I'll take two short threads and tie it all here, about a centimeter and a half from the top on the one side, and the same on the other. Now cut the threads on the opposite side and get a little wig like that. Try it on the doll and fix it. I sew with small stitches using our old friend the backstitch technique. kind of delightful for me to see how it all comes out. I hope you're really feeling the same about your work. Now I mark the doll's eyes and mouth in relation to the hat. I'm going to sew them with mouline threads, having pulled three or four threads from the bunch. You can also use regular sewing threads. Great if you manage to run two layers through the needle. I put the needle into the doll's head where the knot will be hidden under the hair and the hat and sew along the marked line with the same old back stitch. If you want to make it super right, you better use the feather stitch here. Now I have to turn around and with a couple more stitches close a few gaps that appeared while sewing with the back stitch. Indeed, the feather stitch would have been better in this case. But it's no big deal, it all still comes out great. Now let's make a few eyelashes. And move on to the other eye and do the same. Just keep the thread relaxed, don't tighten it too much. Again, hide the knot under the hair, on the back of the head. Now I'll make the mouth with a pink thread. I didn't pull the threads from the bunch this time, just took it as is, but this of course required a needle with a bigger eye. I literally make one stitch. Once again, I remind you, don't tighten the thread, it has to be relaxed. Now look what a lovely lady is appearing in our hands. Let's put a hat on her.
Cool, isn't it? I take the needle with the thread again and fix the hat to the doll's head using the same back stitch. Here you can make larger stitches. I sew through all the layers, the hat, the hair and the head. And that's what I get. And the last thing we need to do, the arms. I'll start about here. Squeeze it with your fingers and make a few stitches in the same spot. Keep your fingers pressed all the time to make it easier for the thread to hold the shape. Turn the doll over every once in a while to make sure the needle is coming out where it's supposed to. The hair is getting in the way a little bit, so I'll remove it for now. So I keep going, squeezing it and going down stitch by stitch. And this way we're shaping the arm. That's about enough, I guess. So I tie a knot. Now do the same symmetrically on the other side. Remember, you have to repeat the first stitch a few times in the same spot. And that's it! My doll's ready! If you want to know how to make a boy doll, let me know in the comments. Wishing you all good mood and enjoyment from your work. Make sure you also watch my video about kittens from Socks. They are really cute too and just as easy to make.